Praise God. Praise God. Beloved, this is Prophet Richie Parker, known as International Preacher. We thank God this day that God has given us the opportunity to come your way with the word of the living God. There's something that God has laid on my heart to share to people concerning women empowerment through the word of God or by prayer. Because we need to pray for our women and uh, have something to say, to share, so that you and I will receive the blessings of the living God. Before that, I want us to pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that Father God, this day, let the oil, let the power of the Holy Ghost be released. Uh, and Lord, speak to me, to your people. Bless me to bless your people. Touch me to touch your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let this word, Father, be a word that will touch the life of people and transform our women. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. Amen. Beloved, there's something that I, know I want to share concerning empowering women by the word of God or by prayer. I've listened to great men concerning women empowerment, like Nelson, the late uh, Nelson Mandela, Oprah Obama, Mr. and Mrs. Obama, Archbishop Duncan Williams, uh, Bishop Noah Joe, T.D. Jays, and Isu Anaba, many great men of God. Have, have talked about women empowerment, but I want to go deep into the word of God and why should we empower uh, women? Why should we, should we empower them? Because the devil is after them. The devil is after the women, uh, our women. So we need to stand by them and we need to pray with them. We need to uh, 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 infuse the knowledge of God into them so that the devil will not use them against us. Hallelujah. Now, uh, I want us to go to the scriptures, you know. Women are victims of war. They are victims of war crimes and a lot of things. When something happens in the neighborhood, women are those that pay the consequences. Are you getting my point? The late El Sandifo, Dr. Kwame Kuma said, if you educate a man, you have educated an uh, 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 individual. But if you educate a woman, you have educated a nation. It means women are our future. They carry the word. They drive the word to another level because out of the woman will come a seed. So we need to position them and pray with them. I will explain by the word of the living God. Hallelujah. I want us to go to the Bible concerning the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 2, the verse 2 to uh, 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 the ver Genesis chapter 2. I want to read Genesis chapter 2. There's something there that I want us to share. The verse, the verse uh, 20, 22 to 23. Let me read. And at and the rape which the Lord God had taken from a man made he a woman. Let me start from verse, uh, 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 verse 21. And the Lord caused a man deep sleep. And to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took the rib of his ribs. He took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead of, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from a man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called a woman, because she was taken out of a man. Now listen to me. In the Bible, the Bible says, It is not good for a man to live alone. Why should God say it is not good for a man to live alone? It means women perfect the will of God. They perfect the creation, the purpose of God creating the universe. Women are the people or the creatures that God used to perfect his world. It means Adam alone can never perfect the purpose of God. So God had to create a woman out of a man in order for the woman to fulfill what God wants to do on this earth. Because if God said it is not good that a man to live alone, that means something was missing. Hallelujah. And that what that which was missing was a woman. So God need to bring a woman to see him so that out of the woman, something great will come to pass. Now, the devil, I will, I will, I will teach something here. The devil knew that something has come. 
because the devil was not attacking um, um, Adam. He was not attacking Adam in the Garden of Eden. But once the woman came around, the Bible said the devil also came around. It means there is a mystery concerning women. There's something particular mystery or, re or revelation concerning our women. So the devil knew that now something has come to pass. So he needs to attack the woman because the Bible says God said I'll make him a uh, his his meat. It means women came to support what God has given to man to do. And we know from Revelation that God doesn't, the devil doesn't want man to survive. So the, the devil has a revelation concerning the, the creativity of a woman. So let's go to the scripture. Let me explain. Masha Branda. Let's go to Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Verse 1 to 3. Now the serpent was serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, He shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the, of the garden, both of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God had said, He shall eat of it, neither shall he touch it, lest he die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God hath both both know that in the day ye eat thereof, there then ye your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Now, why did the devil went or go after Eve? The devil knew that once he got hold of the woman, he can capture Adam. He can capture the seed of Adam. He can capture the word. He can have dominion. So he went to the woman to deceive the woman. Why? By that time, Adam was not, Adam was not around. Or he was even around, but he could not stay. Because when we study the Bible, he gave, he ate and gave it to his husband. It means Adam was around. So we need to talk to our women. We need to pray for them. When we allow them, the enemy occupy them. Hallelujah. So the devil, first of all, went to the woman. He knew that once he captured our women, hey, he can capture the world. That's why we need to pray. We need to empower our women. We need to, you know, empower them to stand against the devices of the devil. We empower them in the economy. We empower them. Once we empower them, the world will be a safety place to live. Hallelujah. So that we knew that we have seen that the devil went after the woman, not after the man. So the devil is after our women. We got to pray. We got to pray for them. There's some revelation that I want to bring out. And the Bible, once they ate the fruit, something happened. Now, the plans concerning God, the plan of God concerning humanity changed. Because the woman has violated or violated the rules of God. So the devil has now has access to destroy the plans of God concerning humanity. So the Bible says something happened. Then get God started releasing some punishment. Let's go to Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. Masada Bosada. I for the mantle of God. Now 14 to 15. Now, and the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast that this, thou art cast above all cattle and above all living beasts of the fold. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thou shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And now, the verse 15. And I will put everything between thee and the woman, and, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Hallelujah. Now, look at this statement. There was, a, there was something particular God put between the devil and between the woman. He said, you shall bruise the head of the snake. Hallelujah. And the snake shall bite your heel. So there is a, a, a war between the devil and the woman. Hallelujah. It is not after the man. Because God, the devil knew that out of the seed of the woman shall the devil be destroyed. So the devil has a knowledge that he shall be destroyed by the seed of the woman. Hallelujah. Let me, let me repeat again. And I will put enmity between thee and the man and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou 
now, Sir Bruce is healed. Hallelujah. Baba Baba so die. Baba Baba. Verse 60. And, on, and unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be of thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. I will explain this also. So there is a battle between the, the devil and the woman. Because the devil will be destroyed by the sea. I will explain concerning Jesus coming through uh, Mary. So the Bible says, I, the Lord, will put enmity, not between the man and the devil, but between the woman and the devil. Because out of the woman will come forth a deliverer.